Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to The Moon. I'm your host for this evening, Lawrence Ray, and today I'm joined by my co-hosts, Ricardo Martinez and Jerry. And today we will all be interviewing the incredible Adam Fixer. Uh, and Adam, before I ask you how you're doing, uh, I'll introduce you to our audience in case people don't know who you are. Uh, so Adam is the co-founder and CTO, I believe, or at least were the CTO, I, don't, I, I, I presume you still are, of Wasabi Wallet. Uh, co-founder of ZK Snacks Limited and privacy uh, in Bitcoin advocate. Um, so how are you doing today, Adam? Hey guys, I'm doing doing great. Uh, a bit afraid of the cockroaches around me, but yeah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> that's all right. I say it's uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So there you go. That's the that's the spirit to have. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you want to give yourself an introduction or if you're happy with my kind of jumbled summary. Um, but please go ahead if you want to introduce yourself to, to the audience a bit better. So your summary is perfect. It just uh, I just wanted to say that I'm not the CTO anymore. But uh, yeah, I started Wasabi. So Wasabi is a privacy-oriented Bitcoin wallet for those who don't know. Uh, I, I guess that you have to know that. <laughs> Gotcha. No, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I thought it might might have changed, but I wasn't entirely certain. So I thought I'd just uh, run with it anyway. Um, but yeah, I, um, well, yeah, I mean, essentially what we wanted to do is just go straight into um, asking you some questions, really, and, and like kind of dig into, you know, uh, learn a bit more about you and Wasabi Wallet and what you've done and what you're doing. Um, so I'll kick it off with a with a question, um, I suppose. So yeah, I was obviously like looking at a few of like the past the few interviews you've done and just trying to sort of get a better feeling for who you are as a person. Um, and uh, one of the things I guess I wanted to ask was that like you were a .NET developer um, and that around when you discovered Bitcoin, that's kind of what you were doing. Um, what was it that actually led you on the path to creating a wallet like and, and i guess what was it that made you think when you discovered um bitcoin okay this is something i want to actually work with because obviously it could have been that you just say that i'm a dev but also i like bitcoin what was it that actually made you make that kind of jump into actually getting involved in the bitcoin world professionally i just saw a low-hanging fruit to to do something that people needed and i wanted to write a software finally that many people are using not only in a in a control room six people you, it, previously like you know the open source uh, the closed source world like you, you mentioned dotnet there sorry let, let's just go back uh, a bit because you mentioned dotnet there I, I guess that's that's what you're curious about dotnet is a programming language or, or a flame framework c sharp is the programming language dotnet is the framework and it's created by microsoft and you might have heard that microsoft was not the most most ethical company in the world previously um, and and so dotnet was a closed sourced uh, closed sourced windows only programming language, basically. And, and so I was writing closed source software and the closed source software is usually very few people are using it. I mean, in the business to business scenario. So, so I, I wanted to write something that many people are using and give me feedback that how is that software is because I had, I had no feedback basically at all regarding the code that I, I wrote. So, so I still uh, read it or Bitcoin post that join market, which is a coin join implementation just, just came out. And I thought it would be, it, it was a command line software and I thought it would be great to write a user interface for it. So that's how I started Wasabi Wallet. Many things happened later. I never, I never released the join market user interface. So, so many things happened later, but that was the basic idea. Just write the user interface for join market. So many people use my software. Um, yeah, and I guess it succeeded. <laughs> no, I got you. Okay. So it was kind of like, um, so it's one of those situations where you're thinking, I want to write some open source software, try something slightly different anyway. Um, and then you've kind of seen 
something that's interesting uh, to you uh, in pay join and, uh, and, and coin join and, and, um, and so you've kind of sat there and gone okay well let's give this a shot people seem to want like a potentially a user interface for this or I think people will want user interface for this and then it kind of developed from hey this is what the people want this is what I'll do kind of thing I guess right I could was it was it kind of like um I guess it was it like a demand from the people or what the users wanted that made you then create Wasabi Wallet or was it more something that you kind of wanted to do that people just happened to want when Join Market came out, you, you know, I I was astonished by the fact that so many people were so excited about it and it's just a command line software, right? Like it didn't really work properly on Windows. So it's like, how, how can this happen? Anyway, if I, if I write this software, the demand was clear there. And, and then as I, as I dived into the Bitcoin privacy, scheme much more i realized that basically there is centralized mixers and joy market and that was it and the problem with centralized mixers uh, let's call them traditional mixers instead the problem with traditional mixers is that they can steal your money and de-anonymize you so that's that's not very good and and so it was it's just kind of obvious that if you write a software that cannot steal your money and cannot de anonymize you and easy to use, then many people are gonna use it. Um, yeah, that that was that was my thinking. At what point did you start working on like the hidden wallet project, which eventually became Wasabi? Like you were working on join market first and then you decided to start your own or was hidden wallet like already kind of a thing it, it, actually in 2015 december when i decided to work on the join market stuff i already called when i you know i i wrote my my plans in a paper and i already called that that wallet hidden hidden wallet so and the idea was that it implements always the most up to date, the, the most robust Bitcoin privacy technology. I didn't want to do the research by myself, although I ended up doing it <laughs> later. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, the idea was was there at that point. And and after that, I I changed to Tumblebit, which is which is a coin swap improvement before the recent coin swap improvements. Uh, might be a bit confusing anyway. And, and later on, I realized that you can do it much easier what I was doing with coin joins. And that's how the zero link research framework came around. And then we built Wasabi. And then the last one, maybe one and a half a year, we were actually working on an update to Wasabi, which, well, which will be Wasabi Wallet 2.0. And, 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 and I really hope this will provide a user experience that a normal Bitcoin wallet would provide without privacy. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful because if we cannot make Bitcoin private with Wasabi Wallet 2.0 by default, then, then uh, I'm not sure anything else will. Uh, I was just going to ask, what, what should we be looking forward to seeing in Wasabi 2.0? Uh, hopefully removing the friction. Um, for example, I, I think the, the largest implications, the, the transaction structure have the largest implications, right? We explain the, the simplest explanation of coin join is that many people come together, create a shared transaction and broadcast that to the network, right? This is the simplest explanation. But if you would go into the details of Wasabi or join market, or let's go into the details of Wasabi, then, then we have to start explaining that, uh, okay, but the output amounts of every user must be equal. So it has to come out in, equally and, and then it, it gets much more complicated to explain. Now, Wasabi 2.0 or, or the research that we call Wasabi is going to make that simplest explanation correct. 
So that's great because many people come together, many different input amounts, and then build a transaction where, where basically we succeeded to find a way to, to create equal outputs, but in the most block space efficient way without creating any changes or maybe very few changes. Of course, if someone comes with 1000 Bitcoin, then he's gonna have, have a big change because that's a lot of money and no one else uh, comes even close. So, so yeah, it's, I, I think we will be able to gain some privacy after only one coin join for all the money that you have, because right now you have to do like many, many rounds to, to anonymize your, your, your wallet. So, I, so this is probably the most block space efficient way of doing coin joins and privacy in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm.